All right, my name is Michael Johnson, I'm the VP of Business Development for Software Partners. Software Partners is a company that's been around for 20 years and for the last 15 years has been the software behind the San Diego Immunization Registry. We also have immunization registries and vaccine forecasting modules in the state of Massachusetts, the state of North Dakota, Connecticut, and others. I'm here to talk about Atrex. We are actually the, the immunization uh, machinery behind Atrex, which is a, a HISP, a health information service platform. What we're going to demonstrate today is basic functionality behind this particular HISP, which is a bridge between uh, the public, that is um, uh, hospital systems, providers, the healthcare system in general, and uh, public health for public health reporting purposes. So what we have is a location agnostic, uh, complete service-based solution that basically solves a lot of the logistical and technical problems behind public health reporting. We're going to demonstrate it on the basis, again, of uh, uh, sticking with immunizations. Immunizations is one of the easiest uh, methods for showing what we're doing. But what it amounts to is the ability to send information of any type, in any form, in any format, to Atrex, which is a, a location just like any other service, our service platform. And we figure out what the content is and what to do with it. And based on uh, parsing the message and executing the appropriate protocol for what's behind it, we send the message to the appropriate places, whether it's lab, syndromic surveillance or uh, immunizations and return a, a receipt which will tell you what happened to it when it happened uh, and how it uh, was dealt with okay so what we see here is an immunization registry and this is a test registry that's associated with San Diego immunization registry the reason it matters is simply that this is in San Diego and HRX is in Sacramento right so we're going to send as I said it's location agnostic we're going to send information through HRX to the test registry and get a, a receipt back. Before we do that, we're going to create a patient. So we'll say John L. And John's birthday is the 29th of June in 2007. And poor John's gonna get a couple shots today. So we're gonna do a search, make sure we don't have any John L. So we don't, we're gonna create a new patient. Save that patient. Again, we're doing this simply to, so that we can prove the illustration that information was sent where we wanted it to be sent in the way we wanted it to be sent without intervention along the way, okay? So we have a, a record for John. It shows John's immunizations up to this point right, for the first couple of years of his life. And if we look at the uh, immunization content for a CCD, we generate this uh, automatically for both the providers and the patients. What you see is not only his history, but also the care plan, which is uh, the vaccine forecast. What comes next? We see that he's due for IPV, DTAP, and MMR. We're going to deliver those shots today. Okay. So let me uh, move then to a, uh, uh, this is a rebranded EHR. Essentially, this is one of our partners, EHRs, and we took off all of the, the uh, uh, other demographic information so that we could just concentrate on immunizations. We're going to create a record and show that it actually makes it to the immunization registry and gets back. Uh, the last name was L. First name was John. And the patient date of birth is what's going to be used to match this person that we just created. Okay. So today, which is the 20th, John's going to get it in one arm for IPV. John's going to get uh, DTAP in the other arm. Rough day for John. And we're going to deliver an MMR as well. Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to see is the actual HL7 message that's sent to the registry. This information obviously includes the, the v2.3.1 message. This is a, a, a HL7 v2 uh, message. You can see John's uh, demographic information and the, the uh, vaccinations that were received. Additionally, we can see the receipt that came back. So this is the acknowledgement from the registry. This information was sent through Atrex to the registry and returned back through Atrex. Okay? So again, just illustrating the point. Now, if we go back over to the uh, immunization registry where we started, we can quickly search for John. We see John L. and we see one linked record 
which is essentially the, the one that we just sent from the, uh, the EHR. I can look at uh, John's history now, and what we see is that we now have a shot that was delivered today, an IPV, a DTAP, and an MMR. Again, this is a registry that's in San Diego, and it was passed through HREX. Doesn't really matter where it came from. And again, if I look at the CCD and the care plan underneath, I can see that the care plan now has been updated to include, to no longer include the shots that were delivered, but to include what goes on from here. Additionally, in the interest of uh, uh, a recent uh, emphasis by the ONC, we have here a decision support, basically a, a, uh, an ability to demonstrate the, um, the vaccine forecast and allow parents and guardians to uh, visualize patient information. So a good example for uh, illustration is uh, a, a child in foster care. Frequently we don't know where those records are, the child's moving around, it may be multiple providers who are providing that service. We can keep track of all of the child's immunization information and that information follows the child and any guardian or parent can then look and, and uh, uh, or the patient themselves can uh, uh, acquire that information. And here you see John's information being visualized within a web portal that can be logged into by any of those people who are authorized to deliver that. You can see the history, you can even see the, the shots that we delivered today. And again, the care plan, okay? It includes the vaccine information statements from the CDC, you can visualize those as well. So anything you wanna see about that patient is available.